video is going to be all about postpartum and the stuff that no one tells you after you give birth. It's not a pretty time of your life by any means. It's going to be very awkward, very confusing, very messy and there are a lot of things that people don't tell you for several different reasons. Sometimes people don't want to scare you because you're just about to give birth and they don't want to send you off running. Um, other times because they haven't experienced it and other times because people just like to dress up pregnancy as this most perfect and magical moment of your life and although we do know that it's one of the most magical moments of your life for the most part some of it is definitely not magical and beautiful and perfect and after you give birth there are a lot of these moments that can catch you by surprise if you're not aware that they can happen since i'm a huge advocate of honest parenting i thought i would share with you the honest side of afterbirth and also share some tips that help me deal with these not so nice moments after you give birth. So the first thing that no one really tells you is what you expect of your body as soon as the baby comes out. And I know that that's probably not most people's priorities and it wasn't my priority either. I was so focused on my little bundle of joy, my baby that had just been born, that I didn't even think about my body. But inevitably you're gonna look at yourself at some point and you're gonna wonder what's going on there. It was just weird to not know that my belly was gonna feel so wobbly. <laughs> it was this jelly belly kind of feeling. It was a bit weird touching it and it was kind of like really saggy and soft and squishy but it was still outwards a bit so you know you could like put your hand on your belly and squish it inwards which was something that up to that point you couldn't do because your belly was so huge being pregnant and so stiff um, that as soon as you give birth you put your hands on your belly and you can squish it all the way in but there's quite a lot of it still there after you give birth so yeah that was something that took me a little bit by surprise and one thing I do recommend after you give birth is some kind of waist cincher I know some uh, very popular brands like the Belly Bandit I used ones that my mum brought for me from Brazil and specifically my favourite one was this kind of all-in-one suit. It does up at the bottom, so if you need to go to the toilet, you don't need to take the whole thing off. And it has a zipper at the front, and it kind of tucks you in a bit. It's not supposed to be um, to be making you feel like you can't breathe or anything, but it does help things go back into place, because it kind of helps your body to remember how things used to be and to stay tucked in. And I found that whenever I didn't wear this, I felt just a little bit more that things were you know relaxing a bit more and they wouldn't look as tucked in if i can find where you can buy these i'll pop a link down below if not then i'll put similar ones there are options that you can get here in the uk that i've had before this is just like the bottom part without the top these ones are from primark they're not maternity specific but they will do the job if you're looking for something just to tuck you in nicely still talking about body shape and things Another thing no one told me was how much swelling there would still be even after I gave birth. I had a lot of swelling during pregnancy. If you look at my old videos that I filmed whilst I was pregnant, you will notice a very visible difference in the way that I looked because I was so puffed up. I thought after I give birth and all that fluid is, you know, gone, I'm going to go back to normal within a day or so. No, no, no. It takes about a week or so for you to go back to normal. Well, for me at least, it took about a week for all the swelling to go down completely. Swelling doesn't immediately go away after you give birth. It takes a little bit of time. The next thing that no one really tells you is how much you bleed after you give birth. And considering that it's something that it's to be expected because, you know, a lot of things are happening down there and you can expect bleeding, but no one really tells you how much of it and for how long, which was what surprised me. I bled for about three weeks. My bleeding started, I'd say about half an hour after I gave birth because I was lying down for a long time breastfeeding James. When I got up, I felt this huge flow and I even asked my midwife and she said, that's fine, it's gonna last for a while, so you know, go and get yourself sorted. What's so weird about the bleeding after you give birth is that it will change its flow depending on what you're doing. So for example, whenever I was feeding James or when it was time to feed him and I hadn't even started feeding him, 
some weird thing inside me um, would tell my body to bleed a bit heavier. As well, when James was crying, I would bleed a bit heavier, which is kind of weird and cute in a way because my body is telling me that my baby needs me and it's telling me to do something. I would just recommend going for extra, extra large maternity pads. Lots of brands do them. Just make sure that you go for the biggest size ever um, and make sure they're really absorbent. For the bleeding, another thing that I highly recommend is disposable underwear. You can buy them in Tesco, Asda, all the supermarkets I've seen them. They're just mesh underwear that you can throw away. I wore these in the hospital when my bleeding was really heavy, but I also wore it for about a week after I gave birth and I would wear no more underwear on top of it. I would recommend getting those. They are really good for saving your own clothes from getting absolutely wrecked. The next thing I want to tell you about after you give birth that you may not expect is bladder weakness and that's for me carried on for many many months after I gave birth and until today my bladder is not back to normal and so I would highly highly recommend you prepare yourself for this I think on the first few weeks you're going to be wearing your huge pads anyway so they're going to kind of help you uh, with me every time I sneezed I had an accident after I gave birth it kind of wasn't as much as when I was pregnant but I would still have these moments where I would suddenly feel the need to go to the toilet but before pregnancy when I felt that need I was able to hold it a little bit longer nowadays for some reason I can't hold it as well so nowadays I have these lights by 10 in my handbag and these are very thin and light pads I started wearing these or keeping them handy about three weeks after I gave birth which was when my bleeding stopped and I just wanted to feel like secure and protected if I was going to be out for the day and not sure when a toilet was nearby these just gave me a little bit of peace of mind knowing that there was something there to protect me from little accidents one thing that could have helped me a lot was if I had done like pelvic floor exercises and I will admit that I slacked on these I didn't do them very often I still don't do them very often now but please do your pelvic floor exercises they will help your bladder weakness a lot and it's just easy to do, it doesn't take any time, you can do it anywhere, any point, no one will know you're doing them and it will really help you. Another thing that no one really tells you after you give birth is to expect it to be painful when you go to the toilet. When I was going for a wee it stung because I had a couple of stitches down there and whenever the acidic urine passes it really really stings. One thing that really helped me was instead of using toilet roll I was using wet wipes and it was more gentle on the stitches and on the you know really sore area. I'll insert a picture here of the ones that I got and these were absolutely great. I know some people go for ones with witch hazel and aloe vera and things that will actually help you know the stinginess go away but I just went for plain and simple wet wipes uh, instead of toilet roll because it was kind of like a little bit gentler so be warned that going to the toilet is not going to be the most pleasant of things after you give birth the baby blues that was something that no one told me about and when I went through it I felt like I was going insane I spoke a little bit about going through the baby blues on my Q&A video and I'll link it down below if you want to watch it but it was literally one of the most weirdest experiences of my life. I've never been one to cry too much, I'm not like a very emotional person. One day I found myself just crying over nothing and I couldn't find a reason for it, I was just very very emotional and I thought I was going insane, my husband thought I was going insane and then I spoke to a couple of people and they told me that's called the baby blues, it's hormonal, you're gonna be absolutely fine. So if you're pregnant Please expect a little bit of fluctuation in your emotions and you're not crazy, you're not insane, it's perfectly normal. No one really told me that. I wish someone had told me expect to have some tears and some, you know, just like irrational be behaviour. Um, so yeah, no one really told me about the baby blues. Another thing which is to be expected but no one really tells you the extent of how much this is going to affect you is your breasts are gonna go through a heck of a lot especially if you're planning on breastfeeding but even if you're not planning on breastfeeding with me I struggled a lot with breastfeeding my supply was quite low and I was topping up with formula my baby had a tongue tie he had thrush for a while on his tongue which passed on to me then I had mastitis it was just 
a very difficult period for me and breastfeeding didn't get any easier for me uh, up until the day when I stopped. I didn't stop because it was hard, I stopped because it was just time. We phased out breastfeeding quite slowly and we were down to one feed a day. I would have carried on despite how hard it was but do be warned that your breasts are going to go through a lot. They're going to get big and small, big and small from all the milk coming in and feeding. And then after a feed, they're going to feel really deflated and then suddenly they're going to get really engorged. And then there will be milk spillage. The leakage is not just necessarily, you know, a little drip. Sometimes it squirts out and be prepared for that because I wasn't prepared for it. I was really surprised that milk can actually squirt out of your breast without you squeezing or doing anything or baby feeding. Just when you take your bra off and your breast pads off, before a shower it was like milk everywhere. <laughs> and even though my supply was low, so you don't have to have a heck of a lot of milk to have that leakage or spillage. It happens even if you don't have a lot of milk like I didn't. Be prepared for all things breast related to be all weird and crazy because <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that at all. Another thing that no one really told me was that the nausea that I felt whilst I was pregnant was not going to go away immediately after I gave birth. I thought okay this baby is out he's not pushing on anything anymore in there so I shouldn't be feeling any nausea anymore but I was wrong <laughs> I felt nausea for about a week and a half after I gave birth and that wasn't fun and I thought what is going on you know there's no baby there anymore why am I still feeling the nausea but it's all the hormones in your body adjusting back to normal so don't be scared it will go away and the last thing that no one really tells you and it was something that I found to be a surprise but a good surprise is how much you will appreciate your family once you have your baby not just for the fact that they're there for you and they're there to help you but because now you have your own family and you realize the value of your family and how much they're important and how much every single one of your family members are just priceless to have them around to have them in your life to be a part of their lives and it was just something that suddenly dawned on me and it clicked in my brain I've always known the importance of family and I've always appreciated my own family but it wasn't until I gave birth that I really really got to know how important they are for the rest of your life. So that's all I've had to tell you about postpartum and what to expect after you give birth. I hope you found some of these things useful or eye-opening or interesting. I hope you guys are having a lovely day and I'll see you very soon. Bye!